I'm going to walk you through three different instances where we can see the presence of God that is with us. For our first example, I want to go back to Joshua and read parts of chapter one. So this is Joshua chapter one. I'm going to start at verse one and I'm going to jump a few verses, but I hope you can follow along. Now it says, verse one, after the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua of Nun, Moses's assistant, Moses, my servant is dead. Now you and all the people prepare to cross over the Jordan to the land I am giving the Israelites. Okay, it goes into the more specifics. Verse five says, no one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. I will be with you just as I was with Moses and I will not leave you or abandon you. Now we go down to verse nine it says, haven't I commanded you be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. The Lord, your God is with you wherever you go. I'm not sure how much you know about the story of Moses and the Israelites. We know that Moses was led by God to the people of Israel. He led them out of Egypt due to some disobedience from the people. The people wandered around the desert for 40 years. And because of some disobedience that Moses had towards God, he was not allowed into the promised land and he died. And Joshua was the one who then became the leader of the people of Israel and brought the Israelites into the promised land. And so we see here two things. Well, probably more than two things. But the first is very specifically, these verses say that God was with Moses. And if we go through the Old Testament, we see that this is very much true. The first example I can think of is when there isn't a tabernacle, but Moses makes himself a tent and he goes into the tent where he spends time with God. And we see that Joshua also joins him. So Joshua has been with Moses this entire time. He's watched him lead. He's watched him worship the Lord. He's watched him do all these things. And so he himself knows that God's presence was with Moses. That's experiential knowledge, right? The second instance we see of God being with Moses is when Moses goes up to the mountain and has a very specific encounter with Jesus. So much so that God said, you know, Moses asks to see his face and God says, if you see my face, you will surely die. And so, but he says, Moses, turn around and I'll go past you. And even that encounter changed Moses' face. His face was literally shining for a really long time because of that interaction. So we see very specific examples of how God was with Moses. And there are so many more instances in the story of Moses that we see the direct hand of God with Moses. We also see that God is the one who leads Moses, who tells him what to do and how to do it and when to do it. And we see Moses respond to that. So God's presence was very much with the people of Israel and also with Moses. But here we come into a transitional period, right? The people of Israel had been led by Moses. The people who came out of Egypt, that generation died and it was their children who then were adults now coming into the promised land and we see this transfer of power. And I don't know about you, if you've experienced this or not, but anytime there's a change of leadership, there's always this sense of, okay, is this going to be better? Is this going to be worse? Is God going to be with Joshua just like he was with Moses? There's a lot of questions. And I'm sure even Joshua himself, who had been with Moses this entire time, had those questions. Am I really able to do this? Can I actually bring these people into the promised land? Will you be with me like you were with Moses? And God speaks to him directly and says, have I not commanded you? Do not be afraid. I am with you always. And if we follow the story of Joshua, we see some very specific interactions that we see that God's presence was with Joshua, just like it was with Moses. And so 
regardless of who's in charge, God's presence doesn't change. And there have been for sure a lot of transitions that I've seen in church leadership or even in the government, or even, you know, when I went from being single to being married and you kind of question how that's going to look like, what the changes are going to be, how it's going to work. Are you still going to feel the presence of God? All these different things. And when you know God and when you follow God, you see his continued presence, regardless of what the leadership looks like, regardless of the changes that are happening in your life, that God is still there, that God is with us. And we can take this promise. Do not be afraid. I am with you always.